Welcome back. We're in the cordon. And today we are trying to get on the other side of the railway crossing. To the south, there's a military base. And to the north, there's a railway, cro railway crossing with a military base in the middle. That uh, would be pretty tricky to get past at this stage. We've got AKs and stuff. So I'm going to go and meet with a scout. I think his name is Wolf. And he's going to try to get us across the railway uh, at a different at a different spot, at a different point. So here we go. So we're in the cordon now. Uh, the journeyman is just over here. So I've got the, the road that goes directly under the bridge that you see here. Right in the middle is where the military camp is. And he's going to try to take me. There must be another spot along the rail uh, line. And there's the Agriprom Research Institute, so that's where we're going to steal the military's documents, but that is a way a ways. We're going to get through the garbage, and then, oh, we got stuff to do. Alright, let's go. God, I love the weather in this game. I love that. Uh, I call it stalker weather um, when it is grey like this. IRL. It's my favourite thing. I got a fan going. I got a hot coffee. I'm pretty good right now. Oh, oh, that's what happens when you get a. Uh, look at that. Oh, look, it's injured. It's limping. Oh my god. 2007, a dog ran through an anomaly, got hit, and then was limping. Find me another game with this atmosphere. I cannot believe the quality of this game for when it came out. Oh, that's one of those... Is that coming this way? Oh no, it's just a boar. Alright, I thought it was one of those uh, alpha dogs or whatever they're called. That we took on in the tunnel. Now, up here we have the crossing under the bridge. And the wind wailing through. There's uh, the bandit encampment that we just took out. Stop here. I wonder to get out of the rain for a moment. From here, can we see? We can. First glimpse of the military camp netting that is underneath the bridge. Unfortunately, there's a fence that goes along the bridge, so you can't get to it. So you need to find a scout that can get you across. The architecture in this game, like this building here. Oh. I love the anomalies that have broken parts of the buildings. Very low rumbling thunder. Is that a helicopter? Let me check my PDA. Yeah, I'm looking right at him. He's over here. Oh no, I don't remember him being dead. Oh, I got dogs over here. My guide is down. <whistles> Task updated, get to the railroad embankment. Before deepening into the zone, it's necessary to traverse the old railway embankment. The only safe passage there is guarded by the militaries. However, there's a small tunnel to the left. Rookies will usually go through it. There you'll be awaited by one of my debtors. 
All right, so we're going through the tunnel. Did he have any? We got electro electronic anomalies here. And I gotta, I gotta try to get through without getting zapped. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. After I hit that, did that go away for a second? Oh my gosh, it does. Oh, oh, oh. I do not remember a safe way through the tunnel. Now, I might be getting mixed up with the alpha, but I feel like there is another gap. Like, I don't know how I'm gonna get through this. I feel like there is a gap along the fence that you can get in. So I might try for that. I think it's way over the other side. Terry patrols are out. Actually, there is a stash in this building here. I can see it on my map there. And the purple circle, I think it's upstairs here. I'm gonna quickly go for that. I feel like it's on the roof. Am I gonna be, oh, I can get on the roof. There's a ramp over here. Cigarette butts up here. Believe this is the stash. Oh, what have I got? A thorn. My old clothing label. Tan radiation, though. I'm not going to be using that. All right, can I drop safely onto this? I can. All right. Let's go. I reckon. On the other side of this bridge up here, there's just a gap in the fence you can get through. Ooh. Yeah, something pretty wild out here. If you bores. Eh. And may have been spotted by military. Shooting. I just don't know if they're shooting at me. Yeah, it looks like there's a gap. If there isn't one further along. Oh, I see some. What's this over here? Yeah, I see a bunch of stalkers. They wouldn't just be out in the middle of nowhere. Oh, there's a bunch of boars. This is the kind of stuff in this game where I love where the systems mess with each other. Like, if those boars came across those guys, they'd fight it out. And here we are, look at this. We've found the gap. Alright. I've found the gap. I can traverse. Get across the train yards here. Bunch of dogs on the other side. No, thank you. Now I've got to safely get. Oh, a lot of boars here as well. I try to slot in between the military here and the boars that are over here. Find out who they're fighting against. Try to get an angle. So, marked one. Regarding Strelik, a stalker by the name of Fox is coming back from a raid. Looks like he had a rough time and needs help. He came back with some type of critters all over him. He says he won't last long. He just might know something about Strelik. You've got to go see him right now. Here are his coordinates. All right, so we got bandits over here. Ah, oh, military guy down. I would love to go and try to get whatever he may have dropped. I also just saw someone over here moving. I'm wondering if it's the guy I'm going to meet. Got a stalker down. Oh, oh, oh. 
band it down. Yeah, they got AKs. It's not something I want to mess with yet. Um, I swear I saw someone else running along here. The guy I want to meet is in one of these houses here. You're not want a lot of dog action. Hey, there's some more stalkers coming along. Oh, you a fight with these dogs. Выручайте! Кто-нибудь! Hey, mate. Uh, Trader told me you might know something about Strelok. Why is everyone taking such a keen interest in him lately? Okay, I can't say I know him personally. We did communicate, though. My guys took some shots at him once. No one got hurt. It was clear his party had been waiting for someone else, so we parted in peace. Cast each other out across the ravine and went our separate ways. Oh! The problem with the, uh, the dynamic stuff in this game. Can't get my story. Oh, dude, help me out. Jeez. I'm bleeding. Which one's bandage? We're done with those mutants. Oh, good. All right, mate. Talk to me again. Oh, 1500. Thank you. Sorry, Fox. I didn't want you to get up. I want to hang out with you for just a second. While I check what's up for me next. So we're going to meet Seri. Seri is sitting in the hangar at the garbage. Alright, so the next thing I'm going to do is head up this road and that goes through to the garbage to find Seri. And that's on the way to the Agprom Institute. This is a very different game when you just follow the missions. It would have taken me... 30 hours my first gameplay to get on the other side of here and then once I got here I looked through every single thing I just did repetitive missions over and over and over again if I came across something like this I'd have to take it down the dogs and the stalkers I'd constantly be like role playing and defending the stalkers and trying to like maintain their bases and stuff I was also really focused on making a lot of money so I'd be picking up every single item in the game and selling it. This time, seeing how much of a clean, meaningful playthrough I can do. Well, there's dogs everywhere. They're on both sides of the road. I don't think there's a clean... Oh, what's this coming up this way? Stack of bandits as well. Road goes that way. Whoa, all these bandits run into those dogs, I wonder. Oh, someone's run into the dogs. Is that bandits? Or is that a stalker? Find some bandages. Yo, yo, alright, we got bandits attacking me, but I've got a... You, you're a stalker, okay. We'll defend this guy. See how we go on this with this... With these, oh, I got two with me on this. I hope... Oh, jeez. Jeez. Gotta try to get closer, I gotta go tree to tree. One down. So we've got someone over here. Alright, so that's all these bandits down. Oh, we've got a we've got an automatic weapon. Bunch of dogs sitting over there. I might need to retreat back to these stalkers I'm with. What was his gun? Oh, 
Ah, oh, it's just a PM. I thought that was a. Oh, no, this is interesting. I believe this is the death truck. From it is from the intro movie. So this is where we are found at the start of the movie on this truck. All right. So there is a stash in amongst the bodies, but the uh, the radiation is such that um, I don't have enough anti rads yet to recover. Yeah. So this is where we're found in that first movie. We got a couple of fresh stalkers coming in. All right. I'll come back for that other stash another time. Oh, we got a anomaly right there. Oh, we've got a body here. Some bandages. Badia Wind. I forgot that every uh, every body has a has a name. Alright, now this is. Oh, I've got. We've just had some stalkers walk through here. From memory, you've got to battle through this. I wonder if there's bandits in it right now, or if it is um uncontested. Oh. Um. Oh, there's bandits, and they already know about me. Jeez. All right, they're switched on. Um, I've got no good spot behind this tree. Get behind these rocks. See what I can do from over here. Sounds like there's a dog right next to me. Oh. Shots are not going well from a distance. Might have to close in. The fact that none of these are hitting is not great. Let's try this thing from a distance. Got 16 bullets. Come here. Anything they expect me to have this. Alright. Actually, let me shock my shotgun. Oh! Oh, great. I've been shot. Some slugs. Oh, he's hurt if not dead. It's handy. Oh. Through the windows of this place. Anyone inside? I can uh, sneak a shot out from the side. Whoa. Okay. Can I get him through this side? I got a stalker in here with me now. Okay, so as I was in that battle, this guy I yeah, put my gun away. Sorry, mate. What's your name? I don't want Genya Chisel has come through and absolutely saved me um, by taking this guy out from behind. I guess he didn't get everything off of him. Alright, we're heading through to the next area. Move to the next level, yes. Your cash and your artifacts, and quick you asshole. Hey guys, I've got nothing! And we've got uh, bandits with a hostage here. I'm just gonna give him some of this. It's the bandits! That reload took way too long. 
Oh, yes. That's the SMJ that People, I really People, this is the commander of the neutral squad. We've kicked the bandits out of the derelict machinery scrapyard. Expecting counterattack. We're low on numbers, so everyone's welcome to give us a helping hand. Alright. X-Men, you really helped me out. I won't forget it. What's going on here? I'm trying to clear the garbage of bandits. My friends are going to ambush a bandit squad nearby. If we don't stop them, they'll take control of the garbage and nobody will be able to go deep into the zone to take our command. Talk to our commander. He and his men are near here at the machinery scrapyard. I'm going there myself. We can go to get it. We can go together if you want. Let's go. Alright. Um, that may be the cleanest that I've ever done that. Um, although, my god, the amount of time it takes to reload the shotgun. I'm very excited about having the that MP5 looking thing. Ah, oh, the garbage. So this is the next area. So like I said earlier, it's open world, but in big levels, like big sections. Alright, now before I talk to him, do they have a conversation? No, when I talk to him, this is all going to start. There is another secret in this part of the game. So, am I going to be able to see this from here? Somewhere up here. I'm going to have to get an angle on it. Oh, these boxes. You can shoot down these boxes. And they are full of ammo and good guns. Like, obscene amounts of ammo. Look at this. We'll count up how much we got afterwards. Alright, let's look at my inventory. 700 of the PB1 rounds, like the better 9x19 rounds. And I think there's another box. Oh, it's stuck. There they come. All these more rounds. And then you like sort it for the game if it was like, oh my god, there's more. I think they're on the other side of this fence here. Yeah? All right, so there's another nice little secret flare. And now if I look at my inventory, 1100 of these rounds. So I'm gonna equip the Viper, that's what it's called, I couldn't remember. I was hoping that can't equip a shotgun. No, I gotta have a pistol. Alright. It's using the new ammo type. I've got my new gun. Basically unlimited ammo. Now. I've also got a stash box here that I might put some stuff in. I don't think I ever really originally used the other stash boxes. Was there anything on the sides of this? I remember there being a good gun as well. But I could be wrong. Oh, food. Ate another can of food. And this is where we're going to finish this one off. So when we... When we resume, we will be talking to Bess, the leader of the stalkers out here, and we'll be defending the car park area here from a bandit invasion with my new, uh, my new weapon. What is that out there? Just spotted an artifact just laying on the ground. That stone skin, could be, if it is stone skin, that'd be very handy. Yeah, this is where we will come back to for the start of the next one. I'm loving diving back, in, back into this. Um, I think the most shocking thing is how quickly uh, I'm getting through it all. But I'm loving revisiting it. I'm loving going back through. I actually think that um, at some point I might go back 
through all of the starting area and just do a bit more of a deep dive because like I said when I originally played this game I was role playing hard and I was grinding the game like I was redoing the replayable missions over and over and over again I didn't leave that first area the cordon after for like 10 to 20 hours I was just in there doing all those missions leveling up saving all of the gear that I got filling up stash boxes I remember it took me hours and hours once you do get to the next area with the barkeep transferring like the amount of loot that I had in that initial starting box that it took so much time to transfer it like I went back and forth several times to get all of my stuff to the next area and then this time I'm almost up to the barkeep already and I'm just not keeping anything so it's very very interesting to play it in this way I'm really enjoying it and I'll see you guys for the next one thank you so much see ya